Well, I guess it's time to get to it. Welcome back to Johnny Builds, and today I'm building this geometric wall art clock with a Southwest vibe. I used a couple 2x4s I had left over from another project, and these had already been ripped down to 3 inches. I cleaned up one edge on the joiner, and then I took the workpiece over to the table saw where I ripped this board down in half. I cut down 18 boards to 22 inches. I planed all these boards down to the same size as the narrowest face. And here I clamped all the pieces together and used a marker and a speed square to lay out the design. To cut this on the miter saw, you have to switch the miter base between the two opposing 45 degree detents every other cut. At first I cut one piece at a time, but after a few I switched to cutting two and this made this process a whole lot faster. I sanded off any splinters left behind from the saw blade and I did a dry fitting of all the pieces. I had to remake a few pieces that ended up a little too short and here you can also see how I numbered all the pieces before I moved on to painting. I used a vinegar stain on these pieces and as you'll see in a bit these turn fairly dark. Unfortunately, you can't just glue this up and throw them in the clamps. You have to hold the pieces together until the glue is set, so I used some CA glue to expedite this process. And here you can see just how dark that vinegar stain got. And if you want to make some, there are no shortage of YouTube videos out there showing you how to do this. I put all these pieces in the clamps and all these sections get glued up just like you would a cutting board. The following day I pulled these out of the clamps and I used my new grizzly track saw to square up each end. I had a bunch of scraps in the trash bin from cleaning up the shop and I found a few 2x4 cutoffs that worked perfectly for the frame. I cut the frame on my miter sled and I have each side of the sled numbered. I just alternate between side 1 and side 2 as I cut each consecutive frame piece. This ensures I get perfect 90 degree corners. I used the vinegar stain again on the frame but I didn't allow it to soak in very long so it would turn out lighter. Each frame piece gets glued on and then I could shoot in some brad nails. On the front side I drilled a pilot hole in the very center of the workpiece. 
Then I could flip it over and drill out the hole for the clock mechanism post to stick out the front. I traced out the outline of the mechanism and used a Forstner bit to hog out as much material as I could. And here I used my chisel to clean out what was left. I attached a couple mounting screws to the back about 6 inches down from the top. Next I chucked up some framing wire and braided it with my drill. And then you can attach the wire to the back on the mounting screws, leaving just a little bit of slack but not too much where the mounting hardware shows. I inserted the mechanism into the back and attached the clock hands to the face. I popped a AA battery in the back and just like that this clock was complete. Thanks for checking this out. This was a quick and crafty build that can be done on the cheap and I'll leave links to the materials I use in the description below. If you like this project hit that like button and if you want to see what I'm working on next please go ahead and subscribe. Also check out the other videos up on my channel. For more behind the scenes stuff, follow me on Instagram at Johnny Builds. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you back here next time. Time. See what I did there?